In this segment, we explore creative ways of making diesel from coconut oil and feature a project which can help you save money and the environment in one initiative. Let us get back to the school's science fair. We start off with Jonathan de Turville of the Castries Comprehensive Secondary School, and his project involves the use of discarded cans and metals. If you're scientifically literate, the world looks very different to you, and that understanding empowers you. My name is Jonathan de Turville. I'm from Castries Comprehensive, and the name of my project is the Homemade Rechargeable Power Source. Okay, Jonathan, can you explain that project to us? Yes, um, my project is about creating a power source from two metals deep into a salt bath. This we not, we got two metals, two discarded metals in copper and aluminum, and we put that into a salt bath. We found out, we, found, we also found out that we, we got electricity from it because copper has a lower reactivity state than aluminum. So I mean, aluminum gives off electrons to copper, that giving us a flow of electricity from one to the other, that being copper positive and aluminum negative. And put into a salt bath, a salt bath creates an electrolyte, which allows for a flow of electricity, which gave us, as soon as our voltmeter, we got a voltage of 0.5 from just one cell. This is just one cell. My name is Kimberly Santos. I attend the Mario Secondary School and the name of our project is Pills to Plastic. Basically, our project is about making plastic from gram provision pills. First, we wash our pills, then we weigh them. After, we blended it with water. After blending it, it became into a watery substance. So we strained it to get out all the particles. After getting out all the particles, we left it to settle. After settling, we poured it into a basin for it to dry. After um, it dried, we noticed that it was very hard. So we pong it, and then we, it, be, it became starch. Now to make our plastic, we added five grams of starch into a beaker. Um, 50 millimeters of water, 6 millimeters of hydrochloric acid, and 4 millimeters of glycerol. Now glycerol, it helps it um, be more like a plastic. It helps it, it acts like a plasticizer. And then we placed our beaker on a bursting burner, then stirred it for it not to dry. Then we poured it into on a foil, and that's, we placed it in the sun to dry, and that's how we got our plastic. My name is Kyle Castello. I go to St. Mary's College, and my project is biodiesel. And biodiesel is basically um, a direct replacement for normal petrol diesel. It saves St. Lucia a lot of money because we import so much petrol diesel. We could make our own diesel and export, so we make a profit instead of a loss. And biodiesel is easy to make because it's made out of coconuts and St. Lucia has coconuts in abundance. So we are trying to get the government to reopen the coconut factory that we used to have so we could produce our product. And biodiesel is just, a, well, it's just a little bit less. It gives a little less power, like 500 joules less power than normal petrol diesel, but that's okay because it's re it's a renewable source and it has, you could make it with any oil except for mineral oil, because mineral oil will rush your engines. So there's only one exception to biodiesel that any engine made before 1992 is not acceptable because they made it out of metal before. So metal, the metal used to rush easily. So now they make it out of aluminium so it doesn't rest so quickly and biodiesel is basically a helpful product for St. Lucia. My name is Kimani. I'm from the Cicero RC Combined School. My proj our project name is 
save the environment, recycle. So you will not just throw away bottles, you could do something helpful with it. Uh, so if I am on a bus, I will not, and I sit in by the window and I eat it conquers. I will not just throw the fruit in the window. I will hold my garbage and when I reach home and I'll throw it in the dustbin. So you could do something useful with plastic bottles like big piggy bank, plastic flowers, plastic bowls and plastic cups and some things. And to take out the money, you just cut the uh, big hole in it and then and then take it out and we have to wait for when it's full. When the bottle is full, then you can take it out. There's real poetry in the real world. Science is the poetry of reality. We can do science and with it, we can improve our lives. So there you have it. That bottle of water you bought this morning can, with some creativity, get a child into saving for an education. We have a few more projects to feature in today's program. Stay tuned to Calabash Community.